Hey everybody, this is Cody Bateman. Welcome to our Relationship Marketing Weekly Show. I'm so excited to be back on. Uh, we had a week off last week. We had a lot of stuff going on at our company here and, and a lot of new introductions at our company. And is, uh, our company is called, my company is called Send Out Cards and we're a support system to help people with their relationship marketing needs. But the purpose of this show is not to feature Send Out Cards at all. It's to feature success stories of people who are being nice to people. That's really what this show is about. It's about uh, people sharing their stories from all different industries on how to, how to basically how to be nice to people, how to follow up with people, how to gen uh, create genuine relationship with people. And, that, and, and then the results of your business are phenomenal. And rather than me just preach it, I just uh, bring guests on and let them tell their own stories. We have an amazing guest on from a highly unique industry today. Uh, we have with us today Mark Leeper. He is the owner of Seabright Company. He and his wife, Carolyn, own a company called Seabright Company. They are aviation business consultants based out of uh, close to Phoenix, Arizona. Mark, welcome to the call today. Well, thank you so much. And again, I'll thank you for the opportunity to be here. Yeah. Well, we had a chance to visit prior to the show starting. I'll tell you, it just this is fascinating. I hope everybody is listening in, hunker down, grab a notepad, because this guy's got a wealth of information. Coming from a very unique background, in fact, one that I'd love to just have you sit and tell your story. You know, first of all, if you could just tell us a little bit about your background, about your family's background, and how you got into what you're doing now. You, you bet. Well, I'll, I'll start with the fact that, you know, we're, we're an aviation family. Uh, my father uh, was a United States Air Force pilot, fighter pilot in the, uh, the Korean era and in the end of the 60s and 70s. And uh, my father-in-law, uh, Carolyn's dad, uh, was a, a World War II ace. He flew uh, P-51s and Spitfires. Wow. So uh, uh, we've got several pilots in the family. Uh, I've been a pilot since 1980. And uh, our son uh, is about halfway through his, his training also, hopefully uh, headed to the Air National Guard to fly F-15s is what, what his mission is. And so uh, I... Uh, I went to went to college back in the 80s and um, got about two thirds through school and uh, embezzled my college money and headed out to the airport and uh, spent my college education at that point on on flying. Uh, I did end up finishing, but but uh, I've I've been a uh, a salesperson and sales coaching guy for over 30 years. That was my next move uh, when I was. Wanting to fly professionally uh, is when everybody was coming back from Vietnam and there was, wasn't a lot of opportunities back there. So I've always enjoyed people a lot and enjoyed selling a lot. And so I was in sales and sales coaching for many years. And then in uh, 2000, uh, I was really lucky enough to have some things take place to, to let me combine my love of aviation and my love of being an entrepreneur together. And so uh, in 2000, we formed Seabright Company, Carolyn and I. Uh, we're a huge company, the two of us, and uh, uh, we've we've been able to uh, uh, keep and and retain you know great companies in aviation. Primarily work with Fortune 500 flight departments through our customers, and uh, uh, we've been we've been real fortunate to keep this going for for 16, 17 years. So you, you very specialized business. You're one of the fortunate ones to be able to couple your entrepreneurial spirit with something that you have a passion for, which is flying. And so you started this company called Seabright uh, Aviation Business Consulting. You're able to combine your entrepreneurial uh, spirit along with your passion, which was great, which is cool. And you, I know you jokingly say you, it's, you know, we have this huge company. It's just my wife and I, but you actually do have a pretty substantial company. As you mentioned, you, you've got some high end clients. Tell uh, us a little bit about some of your clients and what you do for them. Well, uh, we have uh, clients that are involved in electronic record keeping for uh, corporate jet aircraft. And uh, so we, we go into companies uh, that are, already having some success with their marketing, but they don't have a sales process in place. They're not experiencing the rewards. They're not winning sales. And so we're, we're asked to come in and show them the sales process 
and we, we come in and, and of course show them how to get on the phone and lots of times we'll, we'll help implement a CRM system to help them get going. But the, the amazing thing is, is that, that uh, the send out card system, and I'll talk more about that obviously has been, you know, really the icing on the cake to make, make things work for these companies. So we've, we've been able to do that. Uh, right now we have three, three good sized businesses that we, we conduct most of their sales. Uh, one of which, uh, I'm, I'm physically on the phone talking to their customers a lot. Uh, I really like to stay involved in the actual selling process and not just the coaching process because it, you know, it helps me stay fresh. So, um, excellent. So the relationship marketing tools that you use, you use for your own business and you teach and coach your clients how to use it as well to follow up. You've got some great stories. You have some great card sending stories. Rather than me have you uh, um, point out specific ones, you're such a great storyteller, Mark. I just want you to just tell us a couple of stories about cards you've sent, cards your clients have sent, and the kind of the results that you've gotten out of that. Well, you bet. Uh, let me go back uh, at the to the beginning of my you know sales career, so to speak. And I uh, like you and I chatted. I'm I'm a fortunate person because I like people. Not not everybody. <laughs> does you know we all we all learn to work with most people but I've, I've always liked people but you know, um, I, I started actually in the the timeshare business believe it or not many many moons ago after school and uh, uh, how that process worked is is the couple usually a couple would go into a movie and and watch watch vacations and uh, they'd come out and and the salespeople would would sit down with them and, and start talking to them about the, the program and uh, of course we wanted to sell something that night. And initially when you start to sell something, uh, you want to spit out a bunch of facts and figures and features and benefits and those type of things. And uh, I, I was struggling a little bit, uh, you know, trying to get people to buy this. And I had a sales manager that, that uh, would, would see this, that I wasn't getting down the road like I should with, with, my, with my customers, my clients. And he would come up to the table and within about five to 10 minutes, uh, make best friends out of these people, never a mention of the product, would, would ask them about everything about them, always find common ground with them. They would be talking about baseball or dancing or something. He always found a way to get these people talking about themselves. And I'd sit there for 30 minutes and say nothing, almost fall out of my chair from boredom just listening, you know? And then at the end of the 30 minutes, he'd say, well, you wouldn't like to go ahead and do this? And almost always they say, yes, we would, Larry. And so I learned from this guy that, you know, the key to, uh, the key to persuading people, of course, is making them feel something and making them feel something good about themselves. And so that's, that's what I've translated into the send out cards business. And so I've been able to uh, use that concept in, in my sales process that I teach these companies. And so I've got, you know, some pretty good examples of, of, uh, cards that we've sent out that have produced huge results in our life, our business life, and uh, really, really done great things. So before we, before I have you t share some of those stories, which, which are incredible, I just want to recap what you said, because you, you taught us today right now to a very valuable point. It's not about in sales. It's not about you. It's always about them. And I think this is what your mentor taught you as you watched him with those people is that he made it about them instead of it being about you and what you were trying to sell to somebody, always make it about them. It's about the, it's 100% of the time about creating relationships, not about closing a cell. Um, it's about serving, not pitching. I mean, you know, we, we, we always hear about the sales pitch. Um, it's not about pitching somebody. It's about serving somebody and your mentor taught you that. And, and the stories you've told me that you do and that you teach your clients today to do convey that and you use tools to do it. In fact, you got one story about how one card that you sent generated a $150,000 order, which was substantial uh, uh, business transaction for you. Can you share that with us? You bet. Um, well, going back uh, six, seven years, uh, I, I actually picked the phone up and did a cold call to uh, Aviation Business Consultants International, which uh, they're, they're a, a specialization marketing company for the aviation industry. And I, I was actually calling them about send out cards. I really thought that, uh, that the product would be a great product for them to, uh, 
to adopt and use in the in their marketing business. And uh, you know, unbelievably, they they bought the thing on the spot. Uh, Paula Williams is her name. She said that's the only product I've ever bought ever over the phone. It was so spectacular. So uh, they, we became friends, and I started becoming uh, a source, a referral source for them because they would uh, they would get people and help companies uh, find interested or interested leads but a lot of companies just don't have a sales process in place they don't have the follow-up process they didn't have send out cards etc so I started to receive leads from from aviation business consultants well one of these leads was a uh, uh, an advanced flight training company uh, down uh, in California they dealt with fortune 500 companies they flew over 40 aircraft uh, in the desert and uh, their, their CEO was one of the highest decorated people out of Vietnam, a helicopter pilot, a tremendous business person also. And I, I had gone down in a group to talk about what they needed to do f to start their, their sales. They were, they were having a new vi division of their company. And we had come back and uh, it didn't look like anything was gonna take place. And I sent one greeting card uh, to their CEO and I'd gone in and researched him and, and his uh, unit in Vietnam and found, found the units, the helicopters that they were flying, put a picture on the helicopter, and just wrote in there, you know, thank you for your service, and uh, Mark Leeper. And so I sent this card out, and about six, seven days later, I'm sitting in front of Starbucks after dropping Carolyn off, and I got a phone call, and on the, fo on the phone was his uh, right-hand person, that had said, I've got Mr. So-and-so on the phone. Are you available? Yes, you bet. I took the call and he says, are you the guy that sent me the card? And I said, it kind of took me back, you know. I said, well, yeah, I am. He says, well, I want to hire you. Uh, can you come down and see me again? And so uh, he says, I'll put, I'll put my uh, secretary back on the line. She'll pay for your airfare. So I, I jumped on the airplane a few days later and went back down there. And, and two years later, I had two years full income. And I also realized another dream of mine because I got to fly fighter planes down there for 14 months and I never thought I was going to be able to do that at age 55. Yeah. So that one, that one card, you know, was a, a tremendous income and an experience that I've never would have had without it. Just, but just by, just by complimenting him. You know, one thing I noticed when you were telling the story is that, I don't know a better way to say it than to just say it like this. When you were talking about, hey, I decided to send him a card. Uh, I found out a little bit about him, and I, I celebrated him in the card and, and, and then thanked him for his service. What I want our listeners to understand, and I felt this from you, and I want you to speak to it. Mark, that's not a strategy. What you did is not a strategy. See, most people in business think that what we're teaching right now is a strategy. What you did is not a strategy. What you did is a state of being. It's just who you are. You really were thankful for this guy's service. That's what, I mean, it's, that's, you're, it's not a sell strategy at all. You were thankful for his service and you wanted to convey that to him. And it's really important for people listening here today that they, that they make that shift and understand it's not at all about strategy or making a sell. It's about making connections with human beings. Can you speak to that a little bit? Because I certainly felt that from you when you told the story. Well, yeah, you, you said it very well. I, again, I, I like people, and, and uh, it, it, I really enjoy getting to know people. You know, whether it's the clerk at the, the supermarket or the CEO of the big company, everybody's fun to talk to and, and you can always find common ground with people. You can find something that they're interested in. And if you can just listen to people and learn something about them and put something out that day that, that will make their day, great things come back every time. And, 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 you know, when you make people feel things that that's when they act. If we, if we jump from what we should do anyway, and that's just make people feel good. If we, if we jump to the next step, okay, how, how do we use this in business? Nobody does anything without feeling something. And so if we make them feel good, you know, usually that's two thirds of our, our job in terms of, of winning friends and winning deals so that we can, you know, move our business careers along. And, and so uh, that's, that's where the, our card business is so incredible because 
it, it's an interruption in the, the daily grind of email and Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. It's, it's a, uh, it breaks the monotony. It stands so far out of the daily regiment that you, you just, you stand way out. Um, Bart Ratliff uh, sent me a card and I don't know if the audience knows Bart because I just met him, but anyway. Some people know Bart. He's uh, associated with our company and, and helps me with this program. Great guy. And sounds like he sent you a card after he had talked to you. Yeah. So I'm in the, I'm in the Syndac cards business, you know, so it's not like I should be surprised or shocked, but anyway, so Bart sends me, sends me a nice card. I've got, I, I mean, I've got it right here. And he, he sends me a card out of the blue and it's a picture of a ski boat that my dad built in 1967. I'm driving it. Our son's in, in the boat and I got this card and I opened it up and I went, Oh my gosh, what, how, where did you get the picture? First of all. And, and I just sat there and looked at this card for five minutes. I, I looked all over the house for Carol. And I said, you gotta, do you believe this? And I'm in the business, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And so this is a good example of when you make people feel good, when you take just a little bit of time, you know, great, great things happen. Yeah, no question. By the way, I think Bart found that picture on Facebook. You had some yeah. kind of post on Facebook and he just cut pasted it off of there and created it in a card. And yeah, you know, technology is amazing. It's funny because some people get cards like that. And they're like, Oh, how, how did you get that picture? You know, <laughs> you don't realize, you know, we're all, we're all out there on social media. So our pictures are everywhere. So yeah. it makes it easy to do that kind of thing. It's, it's, that's a great story. You yep. were recently at a trade show in Las Vegas, a big aviation trade show, and there was a really cool story that came out of that. Can, can you share that with us? You bet. Uh, one, of, one of my customers uh, is involved in selling huge pieces of equipment, you know, for the, the red, green, and yellow crowd, you know, Caterpillar and such. And so uh, they had adopted the send-out card system and uh, uh, were using it, but I had, the, I had the chance to meet them at the trade show and be in their booth. And I was, I was coaching them on, on how to get cards out to people and just, just helping them. So a newer customer of mine. And so we had, uh, uh, we had somebody walk up to the booth and I'm standing back cause I'm not a representative of the company, but I did, I did hear the conversation and it's a big tall guy with a Texas hat on and, and, uh, he was real interested in a piece of equipment. Uh, he, uh, uh said that he had to go a day early, uh, to go back to Houston, Texas, because his granddaughter was dancing in a recital. And so uh, he left, they exchanged, you know, they shook hands and he left his business card and, and uh, left the show. And so I, I uh, was speaking with, you know, the rep that I'd been working with sent out cards and I said, Hey, try something, try this, you know, uh, let's send him a card. And of course they had their laptops hooked up and I said, go into a, go into our card catalog. We've got nice stock cards. I think it was in sports, whatever. And go to dancing. And, and we went into dancing and we found a, a really nice uh, gal that was, was dancing on the card. And I said, just send a card out that says, you know, I hope your travels were safe. And I, I hope your granddaughter did great at a recital. And, you know, sign your name and put your phone number at the bottom. Don't, don't say anything about anything else. <laughs> and so that's what he did. And, and uh, you know, about a month and a half, 60 days later, he called me back and said, you know what, that, the guy that we sent that card to, he just made a half a million dollar order with the company. And, and the reason he got back to me was because of that card. You know, everybody else at the trade show loaded, loaded people up with brochures and, you know, bombed them with emails and all the things that, you know, we do to ship information out, but nobody shipped anything out that made him feel something. Yeah. And so this guy did and, you know, voila, there's, there's a sale. Well, Mark, that's probably one of the greatest recaps, a uh, uh, storytelling recap of what we are all about. That is relationship marketing at its very best. That story really appreciate you sharing that and all of, of the other stories. We love your spirit, brother. And, oh, thank and you. Thank you taking the time to be on this show today. Any final words of wisdom for our listeners? Uh, you know, just a thanks to you to founding the company and to, uh, you know, Linda Westberg, who uh, is a sponsor uh, that slipped me a little piece of paper that says you need to call Jordan Adler and Jordan Adler <laughs> has been coaching me all these years. And, you know, I've just, we've just been a lucky uh, couple of people to be able to work with send out cards. So uh, the system works and uh, just don't, 
just don't let how simple a greeting card sending is to fool you because it's the best device out there to sell anything. It really is. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for the time you spent to be on the show. Uh, for all of those who have tuned in, you know, if you want to learn more about what we're all about, just get back with the person who shared this uh, uh, Facebook Live with you today and, and uh, find more information about what Mark's doing, the system that he uses. We're just trying to help people be nice to each other. That's what it's all about. Next week, we're going to be interviewing Tony Rubleski. He is a best-selling author and speaker, and he's going to talk to us about how he uses our system uh, and how he reaches out and, and uh, creates relationship with people as an author and as a speaker. And, and of course, he teaches others to do the same. Be a great show. He's a super cool guy. So again, uh, Mark, and thank your wife too. I know she wasn't able to be with us today, but I know she's a big part of your business. Uh, Mark and Carolyn, we appreciate you so much and uh, take care everybody, we'll see you next week. Thanks again.